First Samuel chapter 6. Now the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines seven months, and the Philistines called for the priest and the diviner, saying, What shall we do with the ark of the Lord? Tell us how we should send it to its place. So they said, If you send away the ark of the God of Israel, do not send it empty, but by all means return it to him with a trespass offering. Then you will be healed, and it will be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then they said, What's the trespass offering which we shall return to him? Then they answered, Five golden tumors and five golden rods, according to the number of the lords of the Philistine. For the same plague was on all the all of you and on your lords. Therefore you shall you shall make image, images of your tumors and images of your rats that r ravage the land. And you shall give the glory to the God of Israel. Perhaps he will lengthen his horn, hand for you, from you, from your gods, and from your land. Why then do you harden your hearts as the as the Egyptian and Pharaoh hardened their hearts, when he did not, he did mighty things among them. Did they not let the people go? They that they might depart. Now, therefore, make a new cart. Take two milk cows which have never been yoked, and hitch the cows to the cart, and take their calves home away from them. Then take the ark of the Lord and set it on the cart, and put the articles of gold which you are returning to him as a trespass offering in a chest by its side. Then send it away and let it go, and watch. If it is goes up the road to its own territory, to bet Semesh, then he has done as this great evil. But if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that struck us, it happened to us by chance. Then men did so, they took two milk cows and hitched them to the cart and shut up their calves at home. And they set the ark of the Lord on the cart, and the chest with the gold rats and the images of their tumors. Then the cows headed straight for the road to Beth Shemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went, and did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left, or the left. The lords of the Philistines went after them to the border of Beth Shemesh. Now the people of Beth Shemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley and they lifted their eyes and saw the ark and rejoiced to see it then the cart came into the field of joshua to bet shemes and stood there a large stone was there so they split the wood of the cart and offered the cows cows as a burnt offering to the lord the levites took down the ark of the lord and the chest that was with the, it in which were the articles of gold, and put them on the large stone. Then the men of Beth Shemesh offered burnt offerings and made sacrifices the, the same day to the Lord. So when the five lords of the Philistine had seen it, they returned to Ikron the same day. These are the golden tumors which the Philistine returned as a trespass offering to the Lord. One for Ashdod, one for Gaza, and one for Askelon, one for God, and one for Ikron, and the golden rats according to the number of the, all the cities of the Philistine belonging to the five lords, both fortified cities and country villages, even as far as the large stone of Abel on which they set the ark of the Lord, which stone remains to this day in the field of Joshua of Beth Shemesh. Then he struck the men of Beth Shemesh because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. He struck 50,070 men of the people, and the people lamented because the Lord had struck the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beth Shemesh said, We is able to stand before this holy Lord God, and to whom shall it go up from us? So they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kirjat, Jerim, saying, The Philistines have brought back the ark of the Lord. Come down and take it up with you.